fucking wet. <laughs> I got a wet fart knocking at my back door. But that's a whole nother story. I'm getting all emotional from it. Hi, this is John DeResta, and welcome to Woodshop with John DeResta. What's up, fucker? <whistles> Happiness is a dry martini. That's Johnny Carson right there. Happiness is a dry... <laughs> Happiness is a dry hand job. All right. We're in front of the Ronnie James Dio doors right here. On this week's episode, we're going to mess around with a blowtorch and show you how to make pine and, uh, you know, other things just look old with a simple blowtorch. We'll meet you inside. Okay, first thing we're going to do is quickly belt sand. Regular Ponderosa pine, pumpkin pine. You know, Home Depot, your local uh, lumber yard. Usually you make tables out of this, long planks. Nice, soft. There we go. Now if you notice, I'm gonna dig in with the belt sander because then when we burn, there's more uh, texture. What's up, fucker? When I was 10 years old, I started my first craft business. And my dad, to save time, since he had two jobs, he was like a Jamaican. He was a fix-it guy, carpenter, and a New York City fireman. So he was always busy, that's three jobs. So when I would make my little craft items that I would sell in fourth and fifth grade out of pine, little name plates, my dad was too lazy to stain it. So he started to burn everything. And you can get one of these, obviously these are real cheap, three, four, five bucks at Home Depot. And then you get the self-starter. And uh, if you spend 20 or 30 bucks, you can get a nice one. If you're a white trash animal that drinks his own urine, like me, you get the one that costs $2. What's up, fucker? That's the cheapest one you could possibly buy. It even looks cheap. Look at the nozzle. It looks like my friend's penis. It got caught in his bicycle chain and the top got gnarled off. Enough said. Here we go. Watch this. Nice. We can go two ways. We can go nice and light like that. And some people like to leave that on. Some people like to rub it back off. Or, we could dig nice and deep. Make it nice and brown. Like the back of a homeless guy's underwear. Let's get a little smoke going. Any good woodworker has tons of memories floating through their mind when they smell that burnt pine. For me, it was Christmas Day. My dad always would build a fire on Christmas Day in our house in Long Island. And in uh, 1979, he put bowling pins in the fireplace. So uh, not only was it burning plastic, but there was a dead cat in our chimney. So now we had toxic fumes going down our lungs on Christmas morning. Another reminder for me, is uh, upstate New York where I learned how to make rustic furniture with a guy named Pete Van Umptrump, 18th century furniture. We would burn the scraps and uh, it was a nice smell. There's one other, you know, the police cars are, it kind of brings it all back. When I was uh, 12 years old, we went on a uh, class trip to Bear Mountain, upstate New York and on the second night, there was a nice fire burning right right outside uh, Mr. Hainer's tent. <clears throat> Mr. Hainer brought me into his tent, the special tent with the zip-up door. And uh, let's just say Mr. Hainer touched me in a bad place, New Jersey. 
And the sad part was I was a little fat kid. I had this smooth little man tits and I had like a little fupa and my penis was so small um, that Mr. Haina, he thought it was a vagina. He thought I was a girl. And the smell of the wood, it just... Mr. Hainer. Damn that camping trip. I am not an animal. I am a chubby teenage boy. What's up, fucker? What's up, fucker? What's up, fucker? Here we go. There we go. Jimi Hendrix on a budget. What's up, fucker? Excuse me while I kiss this guy. Okay. Next. Oh, good. I gotta bathroom really bad. Whew. Next, we're gonna rub this out. Watch this. Oh, look at that. Like the back of a homeless guy's underwears. Hold on. This is probably my husband. Once again. Yellow. How we doing? Okay. Okay. All right. Got it. Yeah, we're just in the middle of uh, burning a little wood, making it look old. Okay, bye. Love you. Another interruption. If you have a workshop, tell your wife that it's a workshop, not a wait for phone calls from home shop. What's up, fucker? Okay, here we go. Look at that. Now we're going to polyurethane that's going to look 100 years old. It's going to look fantastic. We're going to come back and polyurethane that. I just got to go to the bathroom real quick. Is that okay? I got to urinate. We don't have a bathroom here in the shop. What's up, fucker? When you work in a workshop, that's your bathroom. good oh okay back to back to woodwork Whew. boy that felt good you have to just go to the bathroom so bad that's all you can think about yesterday I had to do a number two bad I was in traffic I mean, I was holding it in. At one point, my a-hole looked up to me and just said, dude, I can't lend you any more money. Accident time. Here we go. Garage sale, brush, 50 cents. You've got to stop at every garage sale you see. There's all kinds of tools, paint. Now look at that. We can go like this up here, nice and light. Or we could dig it out nice and deep. And it'll look like the back of a homeless guy's underwears. Okay, here we go. Watch this. Come on now. Look at that. And check this out. It's cheaper than stain. Why buy stain? Look at this. Look at that. You do a whole table. Cabinet, benches. 
Let me hold that up in the beautiful California sun. Look at that. What's up, fucker? You could do two or three dining room tables with one $4 can. Look at that. Just burnt with a torch. Nice. You know what? I'm really thirsty. There's nothing to drink. Jackass. Nice and warm, 98 degrees. You heard of Steve O? John O. Down the hatch. Here's the swimming with bow legged women. It's the ultimate in recycling. Woodshot with John DeResta. What's up, fucker? Drink your own urine. Be proud. Diet urine. What's up, fucker? In my balls.